What do you think of the ketogenic diet success stories we've heard about? You'll lose weight on the ketogenic diet if you control your calorie intake. I know, picking out on 4,000 calories of steak helps no one's diet. Do you think the claims of everything it can cure are true? A lot of ketogenic diet claims are excessive if not outright false. Losing the weight may reverse type 2 diabetes, but it won't combat cancer. Your risk of cancer goes up if you are overweight. The risk goes up if you drink too much alcohol, smoke marijuana or tobacco and as you get older. And losing 30 pounds this year isn't as big a deal as your genetic and lifestyle risks. The ketogenic diet is a lifestyle. Unless you are an Inuit or Mongolian, no one lives that life all the time. And the Inuit risk their lives going under ice flows during low tide to get muscles because they are tired of eating caribou all day. The ketogenic diet sometimes helps you lose weight because protein controls your appetite better than simple carbs. If your blood sugar is stable, you aren't hungry. A slow drop means you'll last longer before you feel starving. If your blood sugar rises quickly, you get hyper. That isn't true. But you could just eat foods with a low glycemic index. That's a measure of how little it affects your blood sugar levels. Which foods are those? Foods from black beans to spaghetti squash have a low GI. And meat, assuming you are not getting chicken nuggets cut with flour. Ketogenic diets are supposed to blast belly fat. A diet high in sugars and alcohol tends to lead to an accumulation around the liver. A diet that burns away that fat will tend to get rid of the belly fat unless you're living off alcohol. Some people have been told that a ketogenic diet will cure epilepsy. That is overrated if not untrue. If you think you've got epilepsy, see a neurologist instead of starting a radical Atkins plan. I guess your diet can cure everything, but it can cause plenty of problems. Starting with the mirror.